G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video I want to talk about image lists. Oops. So traditionally we've used uh, T image list but recently introduced I think Delphi 10.3 or maybe um, uh, somewhere around then uh, we've got this virtual image list and it allows us to add images just like a uh, T image list, but um, let's throw a speed button on. And something also introduced in 10.4 is we can add images to you know, an image list to a speed button. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now the image list requires a image collection uh, and Instead of adding that to the form, so if we go, we have an image collection there, but I'm going to add a new data module. And on that, I'm going to add the image collection. And if we go use units, You know, 22. We can hook up our image collection. Now, in our image collection, we can add images and they can be of any size. So I'm just going to go add and I can add, let's go, um, and just add all of those. So they're nice um, 48 by 48 images. And we can do things like categorize them and, and what have you. So I could uh, set a category of arrows for those. And there's all of them and there's arrows, for instance. And that if you've got lots and lots of images, which uh, we can do uh, in, in the applications, then you will want to do something to help you better find them. Now on our virtual image list, we have a width and height. And I'm going to set that to both to being 24. And what we want to do is, so we've got no images currently defined. We can add an image uh, to this image list. And if we add, I don't know, we'll add the arrows. In fact, we can go arrows and select all. OK. And we'll see we've got um, the arrows at different resolution. There's the native resolution at 48 by 48. There's a scale up by twice, and there's the, the size we want to use at 24 by 24. So the thing about the virtual image list is that as your form is scaled with different DPIs, your images also get scaled. So that means you don't end up with these have, having big buttons with little images in them. So if we set the image index to an arrow, and there we have a, a nice looking image on our speed button. Don't use the glyph property. It's, it's kind of redundant now. It doesn't support alpha transparency and you should be using that on your on your icons so they look nice and smooth. Whether you're getting your icons drawing them yourself, which is in the case of this one, or whether you're getting them from like Icons 8 or something like that, or some other uh, website uh, that has appropriate licensing. So what this means is that in your in your virtual image list, you have the images that you need for your form. And so you don't have hundreds of uh, images uh, in that. And in your image collection, you have all your images in whatever re resolution you want. Now, historically, I've done um, images at 48 by 48 because that's been large enough. But uh, these days, I'm doing 96 by 96 for, for images and having them in the image, image collection and uh, the virtual image list. Now, you want a virtual image list on each form because what can happen if you've got um, multiple displays and they're at different DPI settings so you have a different different scaling so um, normally this my primary screen is running at 4k that's running at 1080p at the moment uh, and it's at 125% scaling and I have two sort of 1080p screens uh, either side of of the screen and they're at 100% so that means when you drag the form between screens, you want things to scale appropriately, uh, which I 
Uh, maybe I'll set that up to demonstrate uh, shortly. So that's kind of what I wanted to show for this application. Let's let's save that off. Let's go save all. And we save that as a unit 21 and 22 for now. And, and save that as our virtual image list test. Okay, and I am going to, I'll be back with, uh, I'll change the um, screen scalings and we'll have multiple screens. So back shortly. So I'm back. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller. So we just see uh, we need to show the button. And what I've done is I've set this screen to be 200% scaling. So as I move between screens, we see that the button is now doubled in size. Well, the image, the button, both of the button form, everything is doubled in size, and but also the image. We've still got a a nice crisp image, it's not not being uh, just doubled up with the pixels. But actually, we've got a, the original 48 by 48 image there, rather than the 24 by 24 image that we have on the screen. So, and that's kind of why you need a virtual image list on each form, because I, th I haven't, haven't actually tested it, but I think if you put that on the data module and then have all your applications point to the same image list, if you move a particular form onto a different screen, um, other forms are going to be, may or may not be affected as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I would have to uh, have to test that, uh, which I've not done. Uh, left as an exercise to the viewer. Um, so. That's kind of what I wanted to demonstrate uh, in this video. Um, let's take a look at an actual application running this. So here's a actual real world application. And we see I've got a data module called um, it's DM images or something. Yep. And there's an image collection on it. And it has quite a few uh, images of various types. and um, some of these are 96 by 96 and some of them are 48 by 48, some of the older ones. And I don't actually have the original uh, vectored versions of these anymore because I did them uh, oh, like 15 years ago, 10 or 15 years ago or something in Corel Draw. Um, but so that's, that's the image list and I've got a few, broken down a few of them into uh, various categories. So the, the store is um, at various resolutions and I've got a couple of virtual image lists. This data module originally contained um, two image lists for the uh, 24 and 48 pixel images and this is kind of the original um, selection of, of images and they're both the same and I, I could sort of swap between them in certain circumstances. But if we come to this unit we see I've got a bunch of uh, virtual images. So I've got 48, 24, so it's 24 by 24, uh, 18 by 18, which I think might be that one. We can get, we can, you can go into it and have a look. Yeah, so it's a New Zealand Post uh, logo for looking at the uh, postcode. And we see I've actually got, so it's only one image for a 48 by 48, and most of them are 24 by 24. And if we look at uh, that uh, Google, so uh, click on that and it Googles the address. Uh, it brings up all sorts of interesting information. Um, and we see it's using 24 pixel images and this one's using the 18 uh, images, 18. And the speed button is using the 60 by 32. So I have a couple of these, you know, it's a lookup property, um, a couple of these images that are non-square. Uh, like so. And so if we come to content entry, I haven't started uh, changing this yet. And we'd uh, start by throwing a virtual image list. And we'd hook that up, that up to the image collection. And we'll make this 24 by 24. It's kind of the most common size of image. We can then go and add an image that we want. There we go, there's a red house, that'll do. And so 
this is a T PNG speed button. So it inherits from a speed button. So I can select that, uh, set that to our, and I'll call it, I should call it our to images 24. And we can set that image list property and uh, image index. And you'll see it also populates the image name. This is actually quite cool because um, if you change image lists and things, it kind of looks up the by the, the name as well. So it means that uh, if the indexes change, um, it some, still sometimes links up the, um, the correct image. And you'll see this is now somewhat doubled up because it's a um, PNG um, speed button. And we want to remove that PNG image. Actually, we want to change it to a, a, a speed button as well. So I'm uh, slowly going through and removing uh, some of these third-party dependencies. So I'm just going to grab the name property, which is uh, SP show owned property, and view the form source and find it and just change this to a regular speed button and go back. And we now have no PNG uh, image stuff on there. And so this is now a regular speed button using, and I need to correct the declaration in the pass file as well. Uh, that's probably something completely unrelated. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I've probably not saved the uh, the project file. I've been experimenting with uh, encrypted zip files. I think that's something uh, Yui Rab was working on in a in a blog post. But anyway, so that's currently not compiling, but that's fine. The but we've changed that to a um, from a PNG image to a uh, speed button, and we're using the uh, image list. And I'll just start a copy of this application, and we'll see. If I maximize this, I'll go into list inquiry. We'll see that these, these images are quite large. They fill, fill the entire buttons, even though this form has been scaled. So there's a scaling option in the INI settings, uh, which allows you to specify how much scaling you want to do. If you're uh, in uh, a older real estate agent, um, and I'll have to block that out. But anyway, that's that's fine. So um, that's something uh project i've been working on is changing all these buttons oh if we actually let's restart that and go into contact entry oh actually that's still a, a smallish button oh it's the old version of old version of the code so these buttons are not filling the entire entire button so this is still a tpng speed button so i hope that was uh helpful uh i'm elastic christy from learn uh i think um, the new virtual image list is fantastic and you should take advantage of it, uh, replacing your old uh, image lists. So I uh, hope this was useful. I'll catch you in the next video.